Welcome back. Episode 3 of Barnyard BS with John, Dev, and Doug. I'm John, Dev. We have a special guest, and when I say special, I mean the OG original scooter farm rider. <laughs> Vincent, First ever. welcome. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing great. Stoked to be here for the episode. Okay. Yeah, man, we're stuck to have you. We, me and John, uh, we just kind of we did the first two, and we're like, we need, we need someone. I needed, I we need a little extra push. To take an extra flare. I need to pressure to off of myself to talk about other stuff. Yeah, I'm here to bear some of the weight. Yep, <laughs> and I, obviously we both, we both said Vincent pretty much at the same time. So, yep. Vincent, welcome, honey. Thank you, guys. What's, what's yeah. new with you, buddy? Uh, kind of just the same old stuff. I uh, did shows all summer. I worked for All Wheel Sports, and that's been going real good. Uh, actually, just got news that I'll be doing that again this coming summer. So looking oh, nice. forward to that. So you know where we're at yet, or yeah, I'll be back in the same spot. I'm at uh, Kings Island in Ohio, in the Cincinnati area. Ohio, Mason, baby. Ohio. Yeah, gorgeous hometown, Sun- <laughs> Sunshine yeah. State. Yeah, oh, you man. love it. It's pretty humid out there. In the <laughs> no one else does, <laughs> dude. I grew up there. I gotta have a little bit of pride. Uh, I'm growing some appreciation for it for sure. If I loved it so much, I probably wouldn't have left there 20 years ago. Yeah, really <laughs> and stuff like Changa and all that. Uh, if you're over there, yeah, definitely. Changa. Hit up Changa in Cleveland. Yeah. If you see John Cross, tell him we say hello. Yeah. We, we love you, John Cross. We love you. We love you, John. Come out wherever you are. Yes. I'll come find Ow. you maybe when I go to Ohio. Yeah. I got a bounty on you. I'll get the bounty. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so All Wheel Sports, um, that's kind of going to lead us right into our scooter news this week. All Wheel Sports has expanded. They're yeah, going to be another so we spot. just got news that they're going to be adding another location for their show in Florida. I think Sick. it's going to be at Legoland. So. Sick. Yeah, pretty sweet. Oh, in Flor- yeah. Legoland in Florida? Uh-huh. Sick. Yeah. So nice. That should be pretty awesome. I Another saw ramp planes. They look cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I was supposed to see it. <laughs> yeah. But should I take that It's not back? like final yet, but rumor has it they're going to have a mini ramp instead of like a full box jump setup. So I think that'll bring like a new aspect to the show. More like back-to-back tricks on a mini ramp. And I'm pretty sure I got like Grant Lewis and Hunter Frost doing the show. Yeah. So that would be pretty awesome to see them doing the show. I but. feel like when I was a kid, mini ramp stuff was like more prominent with mm-hmm. like demos and stuff. Like yeah. When I would go to skate parks when I was younger exactly. on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. There would be mad skaters just like doing stuff on like mini ramps. Mm-hmm. There was or like there was like an A-frame rail jam, obviously, because every skate park back then had like an A-frame rail jam. But mini ramp stuff's tight, and I feel like people forget about that. So that's yeah. cool that yeah, they're taking cool. that route nice. versus, mm-hmm. you know, the standard like, look, a box jump. They're doing front flips. Like, yeah. every, we, 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 I'm sorry. I don't know. But we know. Oh, bro. Yeah, Everybody exactly. could, like, uh-huh. we're seeing front flips. We're seeing back flips. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Be able I think to it could add some, like, more depth. A little more flair, a little, flare, little mm-hmm. more, like, exposure to, like, yeah. I don't know, style mm-hmm. in the sport outside of, like, just something that may look to a naked eye, like a parent, like, Oh, like this is like a form of gymnastics type yeah. stuff where yeah. they're doing exactly. flippity doodahs. They're like, whoa, like what is that? Like when you can't comprehend something, I feel like sometimes it sticks harder. Uh-huh. Oh, for sure. Especially when you're a kid. Like, yeah, the wow factor of a flip over a box is cool, but if somebody does like a wall ride freaking buttercup, some kids are going to be like, yeah, like whoa, what the hell is that? <laughs> So that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. dope. Yeah, I think it's awesome. They'll be putting yeah. like a showcase on mini ramp riding. Yeah, it'll definitely show some more aspects of scootering, and nice. I think it'll be has good Dude, potential. We need we need to come. I'm gonna try to come surprise you. Yeah, you got to. I almost did <laughs> last summer, um, but I think I missed you by like a week Dang. when I went back to Ohio to visit some family. Yeah, um, scooter farm Ohio vacation. Do it. It's been a while, bro. I miss your mom. Mm-hmm. Same. I miss yeah. her cooking. Yep. You gotta take me with you. Let's go. All right, and then we gotta go yeah, visit, come visit me. Yep. Hit all the amusement parks. Yep. <laughs> I'll fun. get on all the roller coasters. No. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I cannot. I don't know if I can do roller coasters. Yeah, when anymore. I was a kid, like, roller coasters yeah, were sick. Yeah. I kind of top out at like yeah. four now, man. Like I can't go like. I, four as I've gotten back, older, I'm, I'm like I get like I get nauseous now. Yeah, I feel it's like, like intense. I'm, yeah. Like, oh, like, I think I don't like them anymore. I haven't touched one. Well, like the roller coasters now too are like crazy you got your legs dangling over yeah. stuff you're going backwards and upside down way more than it you know when i was a young kid hitting up to your yeah. point uh, so yeah but it's not like the zipper bro you've been on, have you ever been on a zipper is that the one where they just no it's like a literal maybe this is like some weird deep cut <laughs> thing that happened all right so pretty sure. it's this weird form of like okay so the shape of the ride is like this and there's uh-huh. like little carts with like screens it's haggard but you're just like getting whipped doing backflips and your whole body's like going crazy. <laughs> and it just does this 
Like, I don't even know how to. Well, here. I don't know if I've been let me that show. Sounds, let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. No, but this <laughs> is like this is like a childhood. Like, I can picture like the the illuminated lights. I can like see it all, which is crazy. You guys have never heard of it. So I guess maybe it was just a thing where like my town was. Um, worst thing. So like. Yeah, that sounds intense, dude. So I like. I'm the one that just spins <laughs> around. Like. Yeah. Bro, look at this thing. You up and look at this thing. You. Yeah. yeah I, I threw up. Okay. It ain't, oh man, yeah, that looks like the, all of those about, rotate. But, but I'm oh, saying like oh, okay, I've seen now, something similar, but fuck, looks that. like a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> but now <laughs> roller coasters are like mad smooth. Yeah, yeah like got, you're unless you got a wood one. Flo- dude. Yeah, the wood yeah. ones are crazy, but you're floating those. on those like rails. Like it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Interesting. But I haven't been on one in probably. Yeah. What's it called years. again? The zipper. It's called the zipper. I'm. So I, I would love to hear yeah. anybody if Who you're watching this and you're familiar with the zipper, like leave a comment, let us know. Uh, Check mark. I promise every Delawarean <laughs> will know what a zipper is. Yeah. I promise. I like it. Yeah, maybe 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 the DMV area, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia. Yeah. yeah. You guys just don't know shit. I'm sorry. Don't you don't need to know that. Like that. Thing's <laughs> that thing's horrible. It's like a wooden roller coaster. We, on we do rack. now. But yeah, if you come come out to Ohio, you're definitely hitting some yeah. rides with me at least once. Yeah, I'll try. So, so I'm not super about it either. I've been there doing shows in the amusement park for like seven years. So yeah, gone on a lot of roller coasters. <laughs> nice. Is all wheel sports? So are they still looking for scooter dudes for uh, shows? Potentially, yeah. You can try sending in an email to All Wheel Sports. They have a. Uh, it's on their Instagram. So or you can send a message on Instagram. They're always looking to add more shows, so there's still some potential to get more options before the summer starts. So sweet. Always is good to get your name out there if you want. Go to get a job show. doing yeah. something that you like to exactly. do. Yeah. It's like the best job ever. Like I never get a, get a bored of it or anything like that. It's super fun. Get to scooter, so yeah, can't complain. Awesome. Yeah. At an amusement park too. So. Yeah, it can't be. Yeah. I have a private skate park. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're sitting in it. Still. This is the other best job. Yeah, yeah but do you get to dress up like a zombie and do like crazy stuff? No, I don't. The Halloween shows, I feel like the yeah. Halloween shows is tight. Always yeah. grab that my cool. attention. You yeah. have to do our own makeup too. Which we, which really? Fun, yeah. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. You just yeah. paint your face white and put it. Okay. <laughs> it's that easy that <laughs> I got it. <laughs> It'd be better. Got it for sure. Better than you think. Yeah, you'd yeah. be better at it than you think. Yeah, awesome. Fun. Well, yes, we'll definitely check out Vincent at Kings Island this summer and all the other spots All Wheel Sports is putting on shows around the country. And if you want to be part of it, yeah, send in some videos. Send in the videos or maybe just shoot Vincent a DM. Yeah. He can help you out if you're still Absolutely. interested. Awesome. Uh, next line of business, I saw on Instagram today uh, the Undowed guys announced that Outlet 5 will be August 12th at Claremont Skate Park right here in San Diego. Damn straight. Lucky us, stuff, right? Huh? So, and that uh, brings us to the next thing. Yes, it does. So, Outlet 5, August 12th, which is a Saturday at Claremont Skate Park. Um, whenever we can, we try to make it the best scooter weekend possible. So, we'll be throwing the San Diego Street Jam um, August 13th, the next day, Sunday, the day after the Outlet event. Um, obviously, we'll do all the street jam stuff that we always do. John, you're you're pretty much in charge of that at this point. Yeah, I'm trying. I don't have anything <laughs> planned yet, yeah. but we're we working got time. towards You're it. Going, yeah. 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 Um, and then we're uh, we're gonna try to put on a little a little bit of entertainment yeah, after the street the jam time. here at the scooter farm. More information yeah. on that will come, but live music food good time. It might be cooler than it has been in past years. Yeah, we're gonna um, try to, we're gonna try to do some which is do cool some good stuff with that one. So so yeah, outlet five, August How many 12th, months does San that Diego give me? Street Jam, August thirteenth. How many months do I have to plan this? Um you still got five March, more months. April. Okay. Cool. That's plenty a good of time. timeline. All right. Plenty of time. Well, it's good All to right. see events still at Claremont too. Like I don't know if SD is happening in it anymore, right? Like, yeah, no. Crazy. I mean, a, a lot, a lot has changed at the Claremont Skate yeah. Park since yeah. COVID yeah. happened. Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really love the new management there. I don't think they're doing a great job, but it is an iconic skate park. Yeah. So hopefully, it's a good event. Mm-hmm. I like that skate yeah. park. Yeah. yeah. But that's the problem: is that people like me <laughs> like it. No. Yeah. All the little this kids that want to do yeah, big stuff, not. they can't do it. Like, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you can't learn much. Yeah. I'm I mean, like, yo, look at that A-frame rail. Right mm-hmm. From a business, yeah. 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 From a business yeah. perspective, I used to see 80 to 100 kids there every day. Yeah. I don't see that now. Yeah. All I see is the new management. Um, but yeah. Okay. yeah. It'll, be good. It'll be an awesome weekend. It's going to bounce yeah. back. Outlet's yes. bringing it back. We'll bounce yes. back. Claremont's yeah. being yeah. Ba- coming back. I think Outlet is a good 
thing to do there because yeah. they kind of focus on the different spots. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So I think it'll be it'll, work good it'll be good compared to like other contests. Yeah, yeah. for sure. No, yeah, the outlet stuff. I like yeah. that platform. Like I like that format. Mm-hmm. For sure. I think it's cool. I was kind of hesitant at first when I first yeah, started seeing it. I was like, hmm, spot battle at a skate park. That's kind of weird. And then like I saw the videos of the outlet stuff yeah. happening, and I'm like. Yeah, they can. That's Dude, freaking I, tight. We, we, we it like the energy it, like, and yeah. stuff always yeah. is so cool. Uh-huh. The first one uh, was in North Carolina. I was there for that one at a DDAC, and it went great. I yeah. thought it was awesome. Yeah, those I dudes are what, passionate. I mean, it's all yeah. it takes really. Yeah, they're both yeah. like super yeah, passionate really about the movement. Yeah. And Which, you got to give Will and Clayton their due. I mean, oh, they're yeah, they're they putting the time and effort in. Absolutely. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like Will saying he like took so much time out of riding yeah. to do it. And yeah, this year I need to ride more. <laughs> yeah. I don't have mental capacity to plan something that large. Yeah. I can plan a street jam because yeah. all it involves is me driving around the city yeah. for like mm-hmm. three days. But yeah, they did a yeah, great job. I mean, setting sure. it up, getting the prizes. They had cool affinity made sick trophies for oh, yeah, it. The trophies were dope. They dope. had their own like kandamas for the event. That's so. cool. So I like what, you know, yeah. I like seeing guys in the industry putting in the effort to mm-hmm. keep the industry living. Absolutely. You know? And yeah, they killed it. Yep. So kudos to Will. Yeah, shouts out Will and Clayton. Clayton. Yeah. Love Good you guys. Boys. Um, can't wait for this summer. I I'll just seen them there. recently. They were here for like a second. Yeah. 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 They stopped. They rolled yeah, through with right. Addison. Yeah. yeah. With Addison. Yep. Definitely. So. Sweet. Shout out to Addison. Yeah. Um, the next thing. So this is something John popped on me. I'd never seen this before. Um, it's an Instagram page. Okay. Right. And yep. it's called Culture Scooters. Am I saying it right? Is yeah. That what it is. So, this is a weird one. I need to not lean so close to the mic so I don't blow it out. <laughs> Um, let's pull it up here. So basically this company, I don't know anything about it. I don't know who it is. Um, this whole thing's a little weird though. The title says cult slash U R E, which I'm like, okay, you guys calling yourselves a cult? Like (laughs) what the freaking (laughs) heck? Like, I don't know. Um, but no, so so this is a concept. I, I don't know. It's like, looks like it's in production almost of wooden scooter decks so like the the head tubes are still cnc'd as per normal and then they took a bite out of andrew broussard's little booklet and decided to do some tdi type things don't get mad at me drew bro it's a two-piece deck (laughs) it's happening Um, you've inspired people you've inspired (laughs) be very happy um this is not tongue lock integration but it's freaking some next level yeah. will it be cool will it break in half i don't know it definitely um, looks interesting yeah, now it's really like cool. it's something new so this worries me make sure you show this photo on the screen <laughs> here Braden. there's a fat plate right Ooh. there i'm a smith you grinder like recess okay or like, it look very this good. this is an older photo yeah. it's from like a year ago let's 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 pull it. okay now that looks a little better yeah, but that yeah. Like but yeah. Like so wooden scooter deck I like it. that's like some yeah. like back to the future shit how do right we there. feel about it i think it's dope have you ever ridden one of those like shitty razor wood platform uh-huh. scooters yeah. that kind of flex a little yeah, bit those are cool. good they excuse good. me they feel weird so but they nice. feel sick yeah. um so that's an interesting cut this is do they have I, any other materials besides wood too? i think so they make like, uh, yeah there's like some delrin type situation going on try that again i'm like hugging the mic we're just gonna move this back material based on where you're riding yeah i don't know it's they have 22.4 thousand followers it's a french it's a french brand um the logo is kind of interesting it's like a lollipop with a freaking eyeball (laughs) so like that's kind of cool is it a cult (laughs) is it real I don't know. You guys decide. I couldn't tell you. Either way, it's cool. Like, yeah. for scooter news, right? Normally, yeah. scooter news, we just talk about, like, oh, yeah. or people talk about, like, oh, somebody did a dope-ass trick on Instagram. Or, like, oh, somebody's at this place doing this. But, like, this is some news. It's different. Yeah. And, uh, that's it's new technology. Yeah. And new possibilities. If it pops news. off cool. and works, that'd be so. Do you know how good it feels to yeah, skate? Yeah and have like the little bit of flex, flex under your feet as a 29 year old scooter rider it's beautiful it feels great the 
metal decks that we ride every day are not doing us any favors. Yeah, yeah. That might be an answer for a 37 year old me one day where I'm like, I'm go. gonna ride the Colt scooter. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna ride the Colt. I'm gonna join the freaking Colt. Saving our knees. Um, so one deck at a time. So yeah, so yeah, so check out culture, yeah, culture scooters. Yeah, it's on Instagram. Yeah. They have a website. Something I'm clicking different. into it now. It seems yeah, pretty cool. See where yeah. They go. yeah, I'm very. Yeah, their website's just sure. a blank. Where you get you some know. samples in at the shop here. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you yeah go. Culture you scooters. If you see this, <laughs> I'm, send us our yeah. way. Yeah. I want one. Well, I don't want one, but I want to look at it and yeah. pick it apart. So it comes in yeah, five, awesome. five and a half, six, and six and six point four. Six point four. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um. Every all the homies are commenting on it. Yeah. Everybody's hip to it. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, check out Culture Scooters on Instagram. Tell us what you think. Mm-hmm. Is this interesting? Is it not? Would you try? Would it? you do it? Yeah. yeah. Would you try it? I, I think it's it. cool. Yeah. I like I like people thinking outside of the box, I doing different things. Yeah, it always gets me stoked. Like, I think that's how. Well, that's what I'm I saying. How, when a company comes out with a scooter deck, it's like, wow, it's a nice deck. But you're not like, what the? F-? You know. Yeah. Yeah. That when I saw it, I was like, what the fuck? Man, it turns some heads. For yeah. Sure. No, that like. We've seen so many different designs of cores of wheels. We've seen so many different forks. We've seen so many different decks. I ain't never seen a wooden and metal scooter deck. And even if it doesn't work, it'd be cool to ride for a week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Absolutely. Point blank, period. Yeah. Um, new awesome. stuff. We like new stuff. And then last and on then, our list. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the homies, Parallel Supplier, filming in Florida. Yeah, so shouts out Canada. Shouts out scooter riders. Um, I don't have much for this, but I just noticed the other day, like two days ago, that what was it? Devin and so Devin, Dan Ray, and Garrett are the U.S. boys that are hanging out, and then they're with all the parallel dudes. Okay, they're filming in Florida, getting out of. I know Canada's probably cold as hell, so they're yeah, yeah. the dudes from Canada like are over there, <laughs> and they do cool scooter trips. They rent dope little Airbnbs. They like film all these dope little spots. I like every time Parallel goes on a trip. Like, there's a video called Hand Job. Ridiculous name title. <laughs> but that was just from one of their little trips, and it's a really good video. So I'm expecting something just as cool. good, yeah. if not better, coming out of Florida from those dudes. Yeah, well, hopefully we see a cool video coming from Parallel in the near future. Um, next, moving along, kind of the last little piece of scooter news, there was another cool edit that dropped a couple weeks ago, um, which is going to lead us into John Dev's deep cut edit review. Uh, full Roman holiday season came out. Was it three weeks ago? Three weeks. Is that ago, what it yeah. says? Like within the yeah, last three, three weeks, weeks. It's, it's on the Olay brand channel. Shouts out, Paul. Um, this was uh, this was an edit you were kind of excited to check out and review on the. Yeah, on the I've podcast. already watched it like three, so, four times. Yeah, so Paul kills it. Yeah. So take it away, John. Yeah, full style. He's yeah. also like one of the nice. I spent a lot yeah. of time with him, um, like in Connecticut and stuff with Badger, and he's a freaking good dude. Which immediately leads to like liking someone scootering better Absolutely. you know oh, when like sure. somebody's a cool person and you like spent time with them when they come out with footage you're like mm, yeah, that's yes, my boy yeah. yep that's good stuff nice. so many cool manual combos like yeah he looks at a scooter a little differently stuff. yeah boom I'm not going to have much to say because it's just all good. <laughs> <laughs> all the like hard spins and stuff he does, like the way he can move his Dude. body like the wrong direction, like the yeah. physics is just so cool looking. And he can find transition where, it, like, bro, yeah. there could be no transition. He's riding it like yeah. that, you know, like. I have a little like technical nose taps mm-hmm. and stuff. Oh, firecrackers. <laughs> Went. Some firecrackers. He always reminds me of Zach Martin for some reason. Dude, in person, too, he's, like, not even, like, scootering's not that freaking hard for him either. Like, buckets. This one's cool. Using the rock feature. Quick little rock feature. Crazy downhill. A little rock, dude. (laughs) So good. I can't trust him drinking a monster, though. That's (laughs) that's not. Maybe it's water. I (laughs) hope. You sponsored? (laughs) Oh, what? Yeah, that was super sick. Using my favorite trick so far. Using the environment. That was so yeah. rad. Damn. Yeah, I just see it. Oh. The way crazy. he kind of <laughs> fell out of the feeble, so sick. He makes it look easy. Yep. Like, 
Like the effort, the when stuff looks effortless, that's yeah, impressive that's to me. Know, yeah. He's yeah. got swag, dude. Yeah. It's it's like there's not yeah. many people like him. That's Ooh. nice, full whip, crazy man. Where was this? You know where this is? Uh, yeah, I believe. Yeah, I'm, a lot of it is in Spain. In Spain. Boy, he's, there, he's always he's filming in Spain. Nice. Yeah, Yvonne. Oh, this one's good. I got to maximize it again. This one's so Didn't good. You said no maximization? Dude? No, I maximized because he said I could oh, now. Nice. Oh, Just <laughs> threw a quick pressure. So sick. Song rips. <laughs> I was just gonna say the song reminds me of like some CC in the Music Factory type 1990s shit. Oh, yeah. This one's good. The stretcher. This is one of my favorite tricks to do. Mm-hmm. Stretcher. So what's that called? It's just so fakey feeble, fakey nose, front cab. Front cab so He's got cool. homies in it too. It's not all him. We love that. Yeah. You know. We got Those something to, cats are so cool. The chicken nugget. Yeah, that was rad. Love me a good chicken nugget. They look so cool in like slow mo too when you do on the caps. Yeah. This one's <laughs> cool too. The fisheye wow. makes this look not steep, but I don't think it's actually steep because the way that he like like had to hold that man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we're gonna run that back because that, that takes some here. that takes some control. Yeah. I don't really get it that one in nose man. Yeah. The quick, you can see where like his weight shifted, yeah, yeah. like his knees like almost buckled and he started going forward. That shit's so tight. Crazy. Yeah, he's just chilling. And putting the homies on. I like that. We love the uh, homie feature in a video. This is the dopest trick. <laughs> Ghost <Damn>. wall ride. <laughs> Yeah, channel wall ride, I guess. Ghost wall ride. Yeah, that was crazy looking. See, I don't know how he thinks of half this stuff. Full so creative. Switch? Oh, uh, yeah. The song is roasting. <laughs> <laughs> Just sneaking through. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Some crazy spots. I like that this whole time you can wow. tell he's like enjoying himself. Yeah. You know, like a lot yeah, of these tricks are not as fun in those pants. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that spot's crazy, dude. It's funny he has like an ender from wow. a spot that like yeah, like maybe a year or so ago, like very similar spot but way bigger. Yeah. It's like it's, huh. Oh. Baby. Looked like there was Reese cups in his pocket. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I got to pause. It might be a bag of backy, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> Is it Reese's? Huh? That's backy. Yeah. <laughs> True. I'm not saving a quick snack. I guess it is. It was orange. I was like, yo. <laughs> Potentially. Leads to other snacks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. This video is actually not that long. And then there's like a lot of... Oh no, it, it, it does still oh, keep going. Sad. This is when it starts getting real, real. Dang, that's a cool shot. Sick view. The hacky, damn. Still going strong. This one's so good. Oh, the step down to fakey Manny. The like crook this drop. <laughs> this one's be so one ups himself backwards. real quick. I've done one three with Fakey Manual. I was with you in yeah. SF. Yep, on that scooter farm trip. It's not an easy trick. It's one of the worst tricks on earth. Oh, that was so sick. Downhill to downwind. He's like, yep. One of those fancy scooter yeah, fakey ride awesome. things. The other day in the barnyard. Yep. I still can't oh. make him look good. 
This one's so yeah, good. So the wa- kick up the dirt. Yeah, he wildies through the dirt. Oh, God. Ah. Mateo is such a good filmer, too. Every clip is, like, filmed so properly. Not, like, overly exaggerated, nothing. It's just good. The colors, colors are good. It's just good scooter riding and good scooter filming, which mm-hmm. you can't have good scooter riding without good scooter filming. Yeah, that was cool. That was one of my favorites. Yeah. I was seeing that on Instagram, too. Oof. It's like anti-physics of that wall ride. Ugh. Dude, the landing uh, like on two uh, manuals or something. That sick. trick is so stupid hard. Heel fakey manual is the <laughs> wackest, most annoying yeah, scooter like trick ever. Video. That was awesome. Yeah, I would mob him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Crew, man. Yeah. This is one of the coolest oh, enders sick, ever. Slant. Yeah. Dude, danger. Bro could have went oh, straight into the freaking cool, water. Dude. I liked that. Yeah. Holiday awesome. season. Yeah. All right. Good. You so, heard him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do we feel yeah, about so that? Right, um, Bravo. Yeah. 10 out of 10, I have nothing bad to say about yeah, that video. Yeah. Zero zilch, yeah, not a nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I picked it. Yep. <laughs> I like it. Loved all the but main combos. I had to pick one. Crazy. Right. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, that, was, that was sick. That was Good work, Mateo and Paul both. Mm, you Mateo. guys fucking awesome snapped. Game. I like it. Says Paul and Mateo together are truly a dream pair. That's a damn fact. Definitely. All right. So I don't not, remember how to they were in Spain, s- right? stop. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, Alicante and Spain. Oh no, they all sorts Spain. of yeah. Seville, oh. Alicante. I don't even know what Seville yeah. is, but I know what Alicante is, and I know where Barcelona is. Yeah. Um, Brayden, I'm gonna just leave this recording because I still forget how to. <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> command ship. I'm gonna figure this Ready out. With the short cuts. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, dude, that was that was a crazy hand. Yeah, yeah I don't know what that was. Dude. Dude. Like, yeah. What a talent. Yeah. Stop I'm screen recording. Hey. <laughs> Sideways pinky. All right, new episode. <laughs> new episode. New learn. I like it. Yeah. I didn't we're getting better at this. For <laughs> every time. every every time we sit down oh, here. Oh, that's like your beverage. So yeah, that was John Dev's deep cut edit review of Paul Roman uh, c- uh, holiday season on the Olay YouTube channel. Go watch my freaking friend's scooter. Yes. Do it. I don't even care if that one was blown out. <laughs> Let them know. Yeah. Let them know. People gotta hear. Gotta watch the video. So so yeah so moving along, um, next <laughs> section of today's podcast is uh, one of our favorites, Parks and Recs. This is where these guys recommend a park or scooter area or whatever you want to call it, something scooter related. Yep. Um, I don't have that, so I'll probably recommend. Bro, you can recommend music. a good skate park. I've, I've been to some, yeah, but yeah, I'm not yeah, riding you know, them. Still. I, what would you, yeah. I mean, I know a couple around here. Dude, yeah. that DIY we went to in Ohio. Oh, okay. So the, the DIY uh, sure. in yeah. my hometown, oh, Canton, Ohio. Check it out. I don't even know if it had a name, right? No, it does now. It's fucking crazy now. Awesome. Actually, really? Yeah, it's Dang. insane now. It's like built out crazy. I seen wow. a clip of Harley the other day. It's like we're going time. back. <laughs> we're so going that's, back. Your, that's, that's what I'm saying. We got you a park yeah. rack this time. Yeah. There you go. The whole there, trip there is planned. Is. We'll hit that. That is. You come see me at Kings Island, and then wasn't it called Ledgewood or something stu- like mm. stupid like that? Edgewood? No, no. Edgewood. Edge, <laughs> Edgewood's one by that's my house. Yeah. But that place was dope. See, yeah, there's your so park. There's there your you park go. Right? That's my <laughs> park. Go to Canton, Ohio. Go to this damn DIY. We don't know what the name yeah. of it is. Yep. Sickest yep. place on earth. I've never seen yep. the clips. It was awesome. <laughs> so good. Um, so, yeah. So, John Dev, uh, your park rec for this week is? Uh, if you're ever in the uh, LBC, go to Cherry. There's, like, two ledges. Actually, there's a few ledges. There's a bunch of ledges. Um, there's a rock. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good rock. Obviously, we just saw a pole. You can yeah, there's use, good rocks. Yeah. Um, Get creative with the rocks. There's a curved rail that everyone sits on that no one rides. It's a good skate park. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of flat yeah. space. It's a good place to learn stuff. Um, everybody's super cool over there. You might see some of my close friends riding over there. It's a good skate park. You okay. should go. If you're in Long Beach, you might as well. There's also a V Burger right down the street, which is the best vegan burger in Long Beach. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, 
Okay. Is that the super fancy? I got two recommendations. That's your rec, yeah. Go hit go. Cherry and then go hit V Burger. They got a sister restaurant called V Crepes. Haven't been there yet, but it probably oh, slaps too. Crepes. <laughs> um, that brings us to you, Vincent. What's your yeah. uh, what's your park recommendation park for this uh, week? Do? My park recommendation is uh, Schmidt's Ramping Camp out in Indiana, uh, West Lafayette, right near Purdue. It's like a big college out there, but yeah. I've done a lot of road trips to Ohio, and I've been stopping there on the way. So if you're ever out in like the Midwest or like traveling east, definitely hit this place up. It's like a private ramp, but if you message them on Instagram, you should be able to catch a session there. It's just an amazing bull with a crazy spine, and there's a lot of inliners there that are super nice, and they love scooters there too. They also just installed a box jump there, and dude, it's like the same quality as Woodward, if not better, I'd say. And Sick. It's just such a cool vibe. You can like camp there, stay in your car, set up a tent, you're right on a lake, you see like bald, eagle, bald eagles and like blue herring, all these fish you and turtles, dude. Like, this is the that spot sounds if sick. you want to like, yeah, yeah, just chill, I wanna go. have a good time. You can even rent out the ramp. Like This dude, Tim, he actually built the whole thing with all the locals around there. And dude, it's just a crazy ramp. It's like a masterpiece. It's a piece of art, honestly, like this ramp. They built like this crazy volcano section, like a crazy pocket. Like, I don't know how they made it so nice, but it's awesome. Yeah, you've always spoken very yeah. highly of it. Uh, one of the inline dudes ordered something from yeah, us. And I, uh, I ended up talking to him on the phone because we didn't have what he ordered. <laughs> um, but it was named Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. 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 Shout out to Tyler. Yeah, super cool guy. Yeah. And he and he basically was saying like, yo, if you guys ever want to do like a scooter event here, yeah, just, just do I'm it. I'm trying so. to go. It's like an insane bull. And they got a little street section too yeah. with some rails and ledges. Like he made this crazy like curve ledge out of concrete there. Yeah, definitely not riding the bull. Like it's rad. Yeah. I think you <laughs> no, like the bull. I like, like bowls the coping with small. there sticks out like differently. Like you don't actually like hit it, but it's like on top of the bowl more, so you like lock in really nice. Like all the inliners made it like that. So it's but it doesn't not stick out to ledges. Like that ass yeah. quarter. Okay. Like it sticks <laughs> out like up. It doesn't stick out out. If that makes any sense. No, that makes sense. <laughs> so you can like yeah. over it. It's okay. Like, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like it's really sick. Nice. Different style ramp for sure, but like it's just perfect. So if you're ever out there, definitely hit up Schmidt's Ramping Camp on Instagram and. They'll let you catch a sesh if you're lucky. So There you go. Oh, yeah. I want to go. West he's Lafayette, home yeah. of the Purdue Boilermakers. Stay the night. He's got Boiler showers makers? and everything, dude. Uh, like, that's got dope. Setup. Yeah. I, I like camping and I like scooters. Yeah, so yeah. that's like... We need to reach out to him and figure something and out. And we could probably set out the street jam around there, too. Like, with yeah. Purdue and stuff, there's so many spots. I don't know if you get kicked out of college doing street jam, probably. But you never know. <laughs> there's some cool spots. We've got that's kicked like out of, like... That's like a, a really good engineering school. So I bet you they <laughs> yeah. could be like, you know, they could they could see the, the, you know. They could yeah. put it all together. We yeah. were jumping over like delivery robots when we were riding there. Really? <laughs> yeah, we were like delivering food to them. I was like, whoa, I've never seen this. Dude, I saw a video the other day, of, speaking of the delivery robots, of this kid like truck slapping with a skateboard. One of those delivery <laughs> robots yeah. and yeah. knocking it Dude, over. Dude, I wanted to do that. Yeah. I wanted to like wally off the robot. Yeah, yeah. I would have a tough time not running yeah. into it. It was just like this big square, like, I don't know. It's like, like the dude's knocking over up. bird scooters. There's just something about it. You want to just, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, dude, the robot, out. like, had a pizza. I wanted to, like, nose tap the pizza. <laughs> it went by. <laughs> somebody comes, <laughs> somebody gets their pizza. There's, like, a wheel in there. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, nose man, your pizza. What the hell is this? Pepperoni sausage. Is that urethane? <laughs> <laughs> um, sick. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely... Check out Schmitty's Ramping Camp on Instagram. Yeah. Shoot him a DM. See if you can go sesh it. Absolutely. Um, sounds sounds amazing. Like yeah, I said, awesome. you always have spoken very highly of it. So, yeah. so solid wreck. Solid yeah. wreck. Well, I mean, mine wasn't good, but I'm not I mean, I mean, awesome Schmitt, I mean, Vincent did a great job. <laughs> he did. He explained he, it with he, heart. Yeah. He like. I, I was I just like. Uh, I like Jerry. It's good. There's curves. <laughs> <laughs> My man is passionate. Uh, yeah. That's good though. Yeah. That means you really right like that there, place, yeah. which means uh-huh. it's a true recommendation. It is, it is awesome. yeah. like, dude, and that's like that's that. the best. When I like Cherry because it's a nice place to sit down and do nothing. Like, <laughs> like unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, probably. Big chill. Yeah. Big chill. They got a lake. Big camp. Yeah. Big chill. Yeah. Yeah. I need a skate park with a lake. Yeah, you got right. Yeah. So, I like it. Um, my rec for this week um is pretty old school um there was a hip-hop group in the 80s and 90s called de la soul um kind of almost like uh tribe called quest almost yeah, they had some funk 
Yeah. Um, going on. One of my favorite groups growing up, but they kind of got caught in like corporate hell with like different different people having the rights to their music. So if, ever since like the streaming stuff started, they've never had their catalog on any streaming service ever. Oh, really? Uh, but on March 3rd, all their music came out okay. on all the streams, right. Spotify, Apple Music. That's news to me. So literally right. for the last couple of days, I'm just listening. I'm just starting at their fir first yeah. album. I like that. All of them. Oh, dude, they're so yeah. good. So good. So one of my favorite, one of my favorite hip hop groups of all time, and I'm in heaven listening, yeah, just being able sick. to access their stuff. Because oh, if you wanted to listen to their stuff, you had to like go buy the CD, or Jeez. you had to like do some you can bootleg get it on YouTube shit. Too. Uh, so not all of it. it. Well, of course not. Yeah, all of it, but, but now all yeah. of it's out. That's so listen to some De La Soul. Yes, it's good for the soul. If you're a rap artist, don't sign to some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, because this happens more often. Dude, than I mean that was year like. Decade, like a yep. decade, where yeah. they didn't have Jeez. any say over their own music. That's fucked yeah, that's up. Yeah, that's yeah. Not so, it's not like a music tool. Yeah, so, so messed up. Listen to De La Soul. Jeez. All their stuff is out on streaming now. Every album's a banger. All right. That's my rec for this week. I'll take your recommendation. Like nice. Once I get in the car and leave this damn store, <laughs> I might put it on. Do it. Or I might not. Do it. You won't know. <laughs> I'm asking. I'll, I'll ask you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably do it. Yeah. I'll I'm not even going to be here tomorrow. The, I got a phone. I got your number, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Call me on my day off anyways. All right. <laughs> so, um, after so, that, yeah, so that's Parks and Rex. Um, now we are going to go to, let's have a little fun with the, one of our segments we've been doing called Sponsor or Kick. Um, basically, I'm going to say something, and if you guys are down with it, you'll sponsor it. If you're not down with it, you're going to kick it. Right. Um, so uh, one thing that I want to start with here, electric scooters. Um, Vincent, sponsor or kick electric scooters? Uh, I think I'd sponsor the electric scooter. Yeah? I think they're pretty fun, like a good form of getting around and stuff, and then it kind of puts scooters on the radar for just random people. I guess we're thinking about scooters, so I think it's a good kind of like introduction to scooters as well. I mean, it's an easy way to get around compared to even a bike, yep. so... Yeah. yeah, I mean, you yep. can see them all, all over the place. Agreed. And I think it's a good option for, like, the shop maybe to carry, too. Just another um, avenue to... Income outside of yeah. scooter yeah. people. I just went to go click the word down with the computer. We're good. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's sponsored. Like, we actually, we put some on our website. Uh, we just sold our first one yeah. today. <laughs> that for, races that is true. Yeah. yeah, that yeah, is. First sale. Yep. yep. So First e-scooter sale. Yeah. We're selling out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It might have changed Everybody. my answer from, huh. if we didn't get that sale today, it might have changed yeah. my answer from what I would say here. Nah, but see, we'll, we'll go with John next. Was, are you sponsored kicking these electric I'm scooters? sponsoring one strictly because I want one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And from scooter drive, scooter yeah. riders have been getting hooked up with one. Hit me up. I live three miles from my job. <laughs> I want a free electric scooter. That's literally the only reason I'm sponsoring them. Because honestly, I have to drive my damn stick shift car every day here on local roads. You know what that means? First, second, third, first, second, third, first, second, third, <laughs> sometimes fourth. Then I get stuck behind some old lady. I don't like it. I could just rip. I don't like, I don't like driving to work. For I think about getting on the highway and wrapping around this whole bitch just to yeah, come up the hill. Instead of, yeah. So yeah, there's some gnarly ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Strictly yeah. for not spending money on gas for my whole week of work, yeah. I'm yeah. sponsoring an electric scooter. Hit me up. There you go. Yeah, I think we need front wheel shameless, too. shameless plug. Yeah. Yeah. Electric yeah. power. Dude. Yeah. That would be sick. Shameless <laughs> plugging myself. If you <laughs> own a electric scooter company and you want somebody to like maybe post about it one time, <laughs> probably yeah. not twice. I, I could do a story post maybe and like a hard post. Together, yeah. um, I'll take an electric scooter, free of charge. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'll take one. No, I don't care. Yeah, no, I'll help you out. We're sponsoring it. I'll yeah. help you I'll out. Sponsor you. Yeah. Keyword. Yeah, I'm sponsoring electric scooters. I, in today's world, you know, you know, you know, if you can get around uh, a little, little yeah. less of a carbon footprint or whatever, do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I will say, like, I think, like, yeah, if you live within like three miles of where you work, mm -hmm. that's so perfect, dude. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're all on board. I think we're all going to sponsor these electric scooters. We're definitely going to sponsor them if someone that has a electric scooter manufacturer hears this um, and wants to send us some. Um, only thing is, I'm not sponsoring the price. Yeah. That shit is stupid. 
$2,500? <laughs> you know what I bought for $2,500? The damn car that I drive. Yeah. Really? Close to it, like $3,500. I got yeah. brand more. And I've had cars that have costed 1400 bucks that have lasted me four years. Yeah. How the hell is an electric scooter costing like three grand? That is not Dude, there's, okay. a, there's a pretty good range on them. There's, yeah. there's some that are 1300 and then they can get to like 3600 They shouldn't even be $1,300 is what I'm saying. Yeah. That's car or motorcycle money. Yeah. But dude, some yeah, of these things go as fast as cars. <laughs> Like 60 yeah, miles an hour is too fast. You like can't drive it on a highway. Is that what happened? Yeah, he got like all torn up. Fell off the electric scooter. Dude, he gets our... smoked doing electric scooter stuff, mountain bike stuff, yeah. everything. He is prone to injuries. <laughs> Dude, I saw, I saw a mom and a daughter riding on like a bird scooter oh, together. Yeah. And they crashed oh, on the man. boardwalk look down me, by bro. the beach. <laughs> Dude, yeah. mom like broke her hip. Girl oh, had a concussion. No. They were fucked. Dude, Ethan, my homie Ethan, you remember the Shire yeah, Wolf? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were downtown one time. I wasn't actually there. I just, I've seen the clip so many times. I feel like I was. <laughs> um, there was a boyfriend and a girlfriend riding on a bird scooter together. Mm -hmm. We were at the courtyards, but like the court, the yep. old court spot, you know, that blackout ledge that got knocked down forever ago? Yeah, uh -huh. um, Ethan goes to ice picket, runs right <laughs> in the bro. Dude, he takes them out. Takes them out so hard. Oh no. Oh. Dude, yeah. So like for that, maybe I'm kicking. You know, it's it's oh, no, it's yeah, back it's and like, forth. Dude, yeah. The story if you are like, like aren't like physically inclined to like be riding something that like goes fast and involves like you moving your body in a way <laughs> like that you're not necessarily used to, don't touch yeah, one of those on. things. Yeah. yeah. You gotta understand your playing. shoulders and the way that your shoulders kind of move, yeah. like. Cause you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, I've dude, I've seen it firsthand. I don't yeah. want my mom. I don't want my mom. Yeah, on hell one of those no. Ever. Hell yeah. no. Yeah. I don't even know yeah. if I want Steph on one of those. He's skipping some steps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're sponsoring that. Um, so this one we were kind of going back and forth on, um, but you guys have uh, judged some contests before. Even Braden behind the camera, you've judged some contests, so you brought this one up. So sponsor or kick bar grabs. John Dev, thoughts on bar grabs, I can't, sponsor or kick? I can't do a nothing front scooter flip or any type of aerial scooter trick that involves letting go of my scooter. If you got to grab that bitch by the bars, <laughs> go ahead. That's, yeah. that's where I'm at. I mean, yeah. I understand that, like, I don't like when people do certain tricks certain ways. Yeah. Like, I like, definitely don't. Right. There's a lot of things I don't like. Yep. But I'm not in that bracket to ha be able to have judgment towards that trick because I'm not noticing that. All I'm seeing is like, you know, I'm seeing the motion and I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, like I can't do that. But if like people that can do it are like, no, that makes sense. But yeah. I, I'm going to, wait, I, I have to sponsor it though? So are you sponsor or kick it? I'm going to sponsor it. If you want to do a trick a weird way, go ahead because yeah. I do a lot of tricks weird ways. But, like, if you can do it better, like, try to do it better because yeah. that's kind of what you should be doing anyways. Okay. Vincent, sponsor, yeah. kick, bar grabs. I kind of agree with John Dev. Like, I don't do a whole lot of nothing front scooter flip trick variations. I've done, like, two, really, in my life. But I definitely think, like, if you're going to grab the bar and versus not landing it, definitely grab the bar. But, like, if you were, like, really close to another person and I'm judging a contest and they did the same trick over the same box and caught it with both hands versus grabbing the bar, I'd probably give them, like, a higher score in the run at the end of the day. Okay. But, like, if I'm just watching you do it, I'm not going to, like, be like, dang, that wasn't cool. He grabbed the okay. bar. Okay. Like, I think you could even make it look sick. Like, everyone's got their own style to it. So, if you put some, like, coolness to it, I definitely think it could be passable and it would look sick. And I don't think it's, like, a detrimental aspect of doing one of those tricks like yeah I, I would say same case as him like when it comes to that. judging a contest i would be like mm, yeah. might dock maybe a point. if you have it in like your you edit, could dock a point you know like yeah. if you spend some time on an edit and you have like a bar grabbing it and you could do it without grabbing the bar then that's you should probably you refilm yeah, the trick yeah, yep yeah okay doug how so. do you feel i don't I actually like, don't. I do not care. <laughs> yeah, this is not, right, hell yeah. This is not a question <laughs> for me. Um, I, I, yeah, I should, I should say, uh, Braden, what are your yeah, thoughts? Because uh, mine don't matter on I this. Braden some more of these. I'm not the greatest at this trick. I see it like bongo flipping. Yeah. You're still achieving the same thing, but you're just not doing it quite right. 
Bro, you push Mongo. I know I do. <laughs> but I don't park it. So stop pushing Mongo because that's I way worse. <laughs> okay. All right. You don't, but I did, guess. Did you guys know that there is an entire Instagram around? Yeah, I've seen the Instagram. Park, right? Yeah. Did not know that. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> pretty Tom funny. made a lot of appearances on that. Oh, really? A lot. I love that guy. Yeah. I don't care if you bar grabs. No. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Go ahead, like dude. Said, yeah. like, if you're, like, if it makes you land the trick and that's what you're used to, then... Yeah, I mean, you said it's the same thing as pushing Mongo. I don't think it's like doing the trick wrong. Bro, bro what? The same thing, just not doing it but like, if you caught yeah, but like, like front foot, front foot versus back foot, do you think that's doing the trick wrong? How much different is it catching? So imagine, all right, if if, if we're gonna put it in the same bracket, I'm I'm gonna break it down like this. Here we got me fired up. <laughs> <laughs> if you put it in the same bracket as pushing Mongo, that makes absolutely no fucking yeah, that's sense. What I'm because a little kid oh. will step on a scooter, right? If he doesn't have people around him that are gonna tell him to not do that, he's gonna do it forever, and it's gonna be horrible from the day one, all the way up until the end of time, until he figures out that he's not gonna do it. Push a Mongo is such a like basic bracket. Like I pushed Mongo at one point in my tiny little life. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, the same kid that's not. I guess not. Nah, there are pros that push Mongo as fuck though. That's yeah, crazy. So I guess maybe it could be like Jordan Clark push Mongo, doesn't he? Or does he not yeah, do he that? Does, does Jordan, Jordan Clark push, push Mongo? Mongo? Okay, that shit's gotta fucking stop. I'm gonna <laughs> say it right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right. I'm just I I, I, I put the Mongo see. thing in as like the little kid, and then the bar grabs like a grown man with a scooter fucking. A lot <sighs> of people that do bar grabs are normally like just learning how to nut in front. Okay. Yeah. And then they yeah, that's perfect. That but like, if yeah. you've been riding scooters for ten years and you're still pushing Mongo, like, bro, pack it up, <laughs> go home. Yeah, what the hell, bro? <laughs> Do you think people like opt to always bar grab or do they just do it like when they have to? Do you think they do it on purpose? I'll be honest, every time I'll just, I'm just uh, not to always bar grab. I don't know why. If it's uh, like easier. Maybe that's the tech. They do maybe. It, then yeah. you think maybe it's like it's cheating? Like, yeah, like it's like a cheating point because they okay. grab it, they catch it while it's like still upside down, they like slam like you can bring it down. Oh! Uh, so that's the force you need. Yeah. It yeah. Okay. Right. Like, I definitely think it looks better to not do the bar grab. Like I, like I said, like I, I was, was really, I really questionable talk, about yeah, this like topic said, earlier. Like, I didn't want to talk about it, and now I'm fired up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what a bar grab is, I don't care. If I really yeah. had to judge it between two people that like bar grab or not bar grab, I'd pick the. the now that you say something, grab. though, I do. I can picture <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. in my head somebody doing the like slam yeah, it down either, thing, yeah. and I, I never thought know. about the. Yeah, cause you can get more leverage like that. Yeah. Um, like kind of like the looks like the scythe, but you just grab it. Okay, so I'm sponsoring uh-huh. bar grabs, but don't push Mongo ever again, <laughs> anybody. Yeah, I'll just sponsor it if you have to. Like. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Moving on, because I that was. <laughs> I was just co-signing what you guys. Wow, said. that was a freaking <laughs> hellish time. <laughs> Jesus. Um. So the next one, sponsor or kick? Um. This I'm is sweating. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's what the people want. They want fired up John Depp. So, Braden, anytime oh. you can say something that's going to fire him up, do it. Before. That's like <laughs> anything. <laughs> what if you grab your SCS, dude? That would be kind of sick. Uh. Grab your SCS. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> new trick. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, guys, so the next one is sponsor kick uh, 30 millimeter wide wheels. Um, I feel like we're seeing more and more people starting to get on these 30 wide wheels. Um, so Vincent, sponsor kick, 30 wide uh, wheels. I actually just made like a different scooter with all my old parts with 30 mil wheels and I've been having a blast on them. Like they are a little heavier, but they feel great for foot jams and like having a bigger balance point. So I'd say sponsor, like I don't know if I'd ride them full time, like if I were to do a contest or something like that, but I think they're cool and they bring like a different feel to the wheel. So. I'd say sponsor, like, may as well have a wider range of what you can ride, so, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I like that. So, John, you gave me a look, 30 wide wheels, are you sponsor or kicking? I do not like them at all. <laughs> but Why? I agree, they don't feel good. No? They, they don't slide the, the ba- yeah, yeah, okay, so you're slide. losing grinding space, yeah, number, one. Thing I've number one. I'm going to break it down. Okay. Like I was about to break down the Mongo thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I know what we're talking number about. Number one, you're moving, you're removing grinding space from whatever deck you're riding, whether it's yeah. freaking five wide or seven wide. Um, number two, your balance point is not as steep. So where you manual, at least on your back wheel, is more this way because there's a lot why like i don't know the wheels bigger and wider so like you don't have to lift up as much which i've had yeah, the same funny. balance point for so long i don't want to mess with that yeah I, everyone's like try them i'm like no i even noticed like going no. like taking off over like a spine or something it feels yeah. a bit different like it catches you like, yeah. So yeah yeah but i do yeah. think so those are my two reasons why i, I don't like them um uh, two reasons why i do like them i feel like locking into like tricks like back hurricanes and front hurricanes and like hangover type tricks yeah like that kind of stuff probably so beast because the wheels just like fat gripping onto the side of the rail you know yeah. um and number two like my scooter's so fu like so slow it'd be cool to maybe go a little faster <laughs> yeah um i'm gonna sponsor them for everybody in the world except for myself Okay. If I'm riding them, I'm, I'm I wouldn't touch them on ten foot pole. But everybody else who rides them, I see why. Like there's a place for them. Yeah, also, exactly. I think any type of innovation and yeah. things happening in scootering is cool. Yeah. 100%. So. I mean, I'll from sponsor them. for me, I'm just cruising around on a scooter, so I want a fatter wheel. Yeah, the yeah. more things that's touching the ground while I'm standing <laughs> on nope. it. And I'm, with my big butt, like I'll, I'll take 30 <laughs> mil wide wheels. Um, but your guys' answers were better. <laughs> I mean, but I'm going to sponsor him. But bro, like for you in the world of, you know, just cruising. Yeah. And for all that's the perfect cruiser yeah. scooter situation. You don't want to cruise on 24 mil wheels. You're going to be like yeah. hitting cracks like sidewalk. Like, exactly. right. a bit smoother with it. Yeah. It's like more yeah. Soft. And you can carve sharper depending on the yeah. width of your deck. They're pretty cool. I've seen like Cooper Clark riding them. Oh, like bro. Yeah. Like the bowls yeah. and all that. Nice. I've ride curves. I don't need them. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Um, so we have another one here. Um, sponsor or kick? Um, self branding. Uh, and when I say <laughs> self branding, I'm talking about. People that have their own T-shirts made and they put their last name on their back in a contest. I'm talking Instagram about Instagram stickers on their helmets and their cars. Yeah. Stickers and car, yeah, on their cars and helmets and that kind of stuff. So self-branding, sponsor, or kick. Uh, I'll start it off real quick. Those, those shirts. That's the the first thing that's coming to my mind, and it's a pet peeve. I think it's yeah. fucking terrible. <laughs> I, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it so much. Uh -huh. I mean, if like I like seeing people wearing like. Like Mike Homan, I like him wearing all the jerseys and stuff. Yeah, so I love that shit. Yeah. But yeah. when I see someone with like a shirt their mom made with their last name on it, I'm cringing. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Not in this sport. Yeah, yeah it's just not. Yeah. It doesn't um, fit scooters. Like, yeah, exactly. So, so we don't play soccer. Okay. Right. Everyone at the contest know who knows who you are. Yeah. Like, Especially with the announcer saying. We're all friends. They'll say it. Really They'll loud. say your name over the PA. We're system. all friends. <laughs> and yeah. guaranteed all the kids that are watching – probably follow you on instagram mm -hmm. nope you don't need it yeah also i'm like sub genre of this whole thing i like cars right yep like a lot of people do number one pet peeve for that is the damn instagram sticker on their car, on car. half the time you see that <laughs> the car is whack <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> carry that over yeah. into scootering when you see it in scootering what could it be whack Wiggity. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna kick it like real far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm um, kicking as well. But like at the same time, if you're so this like in within my bracket of age, like if you're 24 and you put your name on the back of your shirt before a scooter contest, I'm gonna be like, bro, what the hell? <laughs> but like, if your mom did it and you're 12 and yeah, like man. you're mad proud and like your family yeah, is I'm all out there. Sure. And you got the family name on it. Who am I to knock that? Yeah, I agree. I mean, you can knock that. I'll knock it. That's fine. I'll knock yeah. it. But, like, I don't have that much hate in my heart. Sometimes I do. But, like... <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna go up to like a, I'm not gonna go up to a 12 year old kid and like, shit on him for having his name on it. Take that off, you. You can't enter the contest. Um, nah, but I definitely I don't like it. it yeah, I will yeah. always not like it. 
Yeah, we, we're, we're definitely... Like, it's like, yeah. a bit uncomfortable. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you are not Christian Ronaldo, and you never will be. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And you will never be Allen Iverson. Braden, yeah. you're a lot younger than us. What are your thoughts on this? I'm basically the same boat. You agree? Yeah, I just think it's unnecessary. Okay. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. no hate, but, like, the, yeah. the thing being, like, Sovereign Street, kind of Oh, people were doing it in Sovereign Street? Dude, I have a jersey with yeah. the, my name on it. Oh, they made them for yeah, you. They oh. did make them. What do you think of, like, everyone on the same team? Shouts out to Vaughn. I like, love all y'all. Jersey. Like, everyone what? on the same team wearing a jersey that's the same. Like, I mean, it's not it's not so yeah, like the it's cool like, thing about it's not the Olympics. Kind of yeah, like, true. Yeah. So, cool thing. Yeah, just put a sticker on your helmet. Or something. Side note <laughs> on the Sovereign of Street thing, which <laughs> I thought was cool. I didn't get to do it because I was judging. So, like, all yeah. the judges we just had. Mm-hmm. Like zeros, I think. Yeah. Um, but everybody got to pick their number, which I thought was tight. I, like the idea I thought of, like, that an exclusive was exclusive shirt too. Yeah. Like you enter the contest, you get the yeah. shirt. Like that's kind of cool. I still have mine. Yeah, I don't know exactly. what the hell I would that's do with bad. it. I did I wear it? No, I gave it to Gabe to wear, and then he wore. I think he wore it okay. in the contest so, as a like he had his <laughs> own. He had his own <laughs> something like that. I don't. Yeah, I think yeah. that's when it's cool. Yeah, well, we have the dog tags, too. But, like, yeah, like we have the dog tags, too, though. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Mm-hmm. Dog tags are, like, when you die. Yeah. <laughs> True. No? Well, yeah, dog tags, well, isn't it, like... Dog like dog tags originated so that when kids die... They could identify your body. Yeah. That's crazy to give people <laughs> dog tags before a scooter <laughs> contest. <laughs> Yeah, like that's in insane to give dog the, tags to people before a scooter like contest. <laughs> we'll know who you are. You die out so there. Like, <laughs> I'm going back to the whole cult thing. Right? We know who he is. Take it to the streets. <laughs> All right. All right. I like um, that. Yeah. All right. I got my dog tags in my car though. I'm not even a friend. I like dog I tags. Yeah. I'm not. I'm cool. Like yeah. really kind of spooky though. Yeah. Here's your dog tags. Now go jump down a bunch of stairs. Don't you go dying on me. Um. What happened? Have you guys ever had any sort of celebration? Nah. Oh, those license plates in here. Yeah, license like, plates are cool. I like that idea. We had. Yeah. We still got. They have those little like, the like little crystal ball one too. The yeah. coalition oh, yeah. invite. That one was cool. Uh huh. They had some cool. And the yeah. little mask. Like, Shouts out scootering, yeah, man. Some cool stuff. Sovereign Street was cool. And that one Coalition's cool. With the guns. Yeah. All that stuff's cool. Yeah. That one's sick. I like it. So that was self-branding sponsor kick. The last sponsor kick for this segment um, is Pegs. We've seen the square back ends uh, have have uh, have an effect on on Pegs. Taking over. You sponsoring yep. or kicking Pegs, John Dev? I'm kicking Pegs. You're kicking Pegs. Yeah, I ride them. You do, I would be very say. surprised. Um, but I missed the bus on a very important scooter trick. Yeah. Yep. People do crooks mm-hmm. now all the time. He knows ones, too. They're yeah. Really so everyone has nasty crook abilities. You know who does not have crook abilities? This guy right here. <laughs> and you know why? Because I'm a dumbass and decided to keep my pegs on too long. Yeah. And I'm not going to take them off now and then, like, go full am hour. Like, yeah. but do you think for two you years trying to learn. The toothpick abilities replace the crook abilities? I don't even do like toothpicks. You? I'll do, like, yeah. one tooth hang hard, like, a year, like down a hub or something, like at a skate park. Yeah. Enjoying myself. Do you myself. feel like twos feel like on par with crooks? Like, I think crooks are cooler. Yeah, I kind of Because, like, people do a lot of tricks in and out of crooks. Mm-hmm. Crooks are, like, just look a bit, like, like a little, they're getting steep now. Like, people are doing straight up nose grinds. It's yeah. just, I'm like, I miss the bus. I'm a little yeah. sad about it. I'm not going to lie. But, um, in my defense, there is one trick that I really do like to do. Which is those peg hang fives? I think I don't like doing hang fives. Uh-huh. I don't necessarily love the trick and then how it looks. Yeah. But when you're standing on your scooter and you're standing on a peg, doing a nose manual, that shit is tight. It looks so cool. I'll take that for what it is. But if we're gonna go all around, also box stands are awesome. Yeah. Like yeah. They, like you go to 50 a rail now you're not gonna like you would miss with pegs because your pegs would be uneven with your deck and it would just be like a whole freaking mess now it's just one slim like you're on there like yeah. it's, it's like flush with yeah. the deck so 
We used to sell the shit out of pegs those yeah. first couple of years we oh, were yeah. open. I was like, the kids would just come in and want pegs. Like, yeah. <laughs> the, now I tell kids to do research before they come in and get yeah. pegs. Uh-huh. Like a kid will buy a scooter, he'll be like, I want pegs. And I'm like, hold on. Why? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do with the pegs? So, Hold on, because you're gonna come in a week just, later and yeah, take them like, off. They just get in their the pegs just get in their way. I feel like uh-huh. yeah. they yeah, don't even use stuff. them. Absolutely. So, um, but yeah, Vincent, sponsor our kick pegs. I used to really like riding pegs. Like I love doing toothpick grinds and stalls and like the hang fives, like John Deb was saying. But I think I'm gonna kick them. Like the other day I was riding, I went to jump down a four stair, and the peg like hit the bottom of the rail that was on the four stair, and I just like completely died jumping. Oh. And, like, I've had a few bails lately where I, like, roll over my scooter and, like, roll over the pegs. I don't know. I've just been, like... Yeah, they can hurt, from they the can pegs, hurt you, too. Yeah, yeah nah, just, they... Like, yeah, <laughs> like, that hurts. A peg to the ankle, like, yeah. people be joking about the scooter mm-hmm. to the ankle. A peg to the ankle is, like, a shock to your yeah. entire body. Oh, you yeah. feel that in your asshole. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude, it'll get you, man. Gnar- like, it's, like, the worst pain. Like, like ball of the... Ankle. You gotta bleep that like, it's one worse than the, It's worse than, like, any other part of your scooter. Like, the peg is worse than, like, the deck, anything. Like, yeah. It just, yeah. No, it kills it's, you. it's like a stinger, dude. It's and like getting like, hit, b- like, stung by a wasp. Oof. Dude, my, like, helmet freaking. cracked when I jumped on the four stair. Like, I died. Like, I was one of, like, the hardest falls I've had. I got like, smoked lately. on the four I got smoked on this four stair, and I took the pegs <laughs> off immediately. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I kind of miss them, but at the same time, like, I do want to learn, like, some nose bumps and tricks, like Don was saying. So. And Doug's going to kick them, too, because we're not making money off of them. <laughs> Right? I do think they're cool. Like, a lot of cool possibilities with pegs. I'll probably ride them here and there, yeah. like, once I get over the eating, eating shit. Pegs, <laughs> yeah, I would say, like, if you're using them a lot, then ride them. Yeah. But yeah. there's just a lot of, like, you were kind of saying, like, kids come in, like, put on, I want yeah. pegs on the front wheel. And it's like, dude, you're not, you know, if you're not doing something specific with them all yeah. the time, then don't put them on there. They're yeah. just going to get in your way yeah. so they're slowly turning into a lost cause yeah, just like a bit outdated i keep the yeah like i keep the plastics on so i can smith curves that's the only like because you can't do yeah. that yeah the smiths are Don't way harder do without that. pegs that's what i've that's noticed about, like <laughs> I know Smiths are kind of a forgotten pegs, trick now, and people don't think they're as cool but i think they're freaking cool yeah, and yeah. Yeah. i can't do them without pegs so i'm gonna keep them. it's just way more fun with pegs to do that trick too so like, okay they're more cool. fun um <laughs> but they suck <laughs> at the same time i don't even know if that makes sense but we're gonna go can with it be it. like in the middle like it's a real <laughs> catch 22. Nah, we them. have to I'll spot we have sometimes. nah nah nah, nah. you gotta yeah, i'm kicking them then, yeah. goodbye all I'm right there, goodbye don't take my pegs away from me in my sleep though i'll kill you <laughs> pegs are getting kicked all right um so yeah that and sponsor kick um we have one more section uh segment we're gonna do um, this is the pro, pro and flow part of the program. Um, <laughs> basically, we're going to list three things, and if you love it, you know, if the first thing that you love is pro, if it's something in the middle, it's am. If you don't want anything to do with it, you're flowing it. Um, you these, still want something to do with <laughs> yeah. it, but it's just not like... I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. Compared to the other two, I would Flow just kind of like sucks yeah. a little bit. You just get free parts. You don't get to go anywhere. You don't get to do anything cool. (laughs) 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 There's some, there's, there's some flowers out there doing things. Uh, (laughs) 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 Um, but yeah, so I mean, so I mean, I feel like most of the ones that we wrote down have nothing to do with scootering. So, but if we put it in flow, we don't really hate it. Right. Yeah. (laughs) It's just Um, the bottom of the freaking barrel. Of these three things. <laughs> not of scootering. Yes. Not of scootering. Yes. If you're getting flowed by a company, I'm proud of you. Yeah. You're doing well. Yeah. You're we're, doing we're all very proud of you. I mean, if I showed you our DMs, you would know how well you're doing if you're on float. Um so we'll start with uh sweatshirts. Crew neck, pullover, zip up. What's your pro, Vincent? I think zip up's my pro, just the nah. convenience factor, yeah. If I'm like doing something, gotta take it off real quick, boom. Off. Okay, and uh, your am? Uh, probably the crew neck. Yeah. Actually, not the pullover. I kind of like some hoodies. Yeah. Yeah. Hoodie and then crew neck for me. Okay, I like it. Okay. How um, about you, buddy? I'm gonna say pro is a straight up just pullover hoodie. Just because I like to hide in mine <laughs> yeah. often. Mm-hmm. That's why this is tied right now. <laughs> Triple um, knot. It's like a good thing. Like a hoodie is like a safety blanket. If you're uncomfortable, you can snap yourself up in one of those real nice. 
Um, I wear a lot of crew necks, but I'm going to give crew necks the flow spot. Ooh, okay. Because they don't ever sit right with your damn t-shirt, dude. <laughs> like, true. how many times have you, like, seen, like, a clip of yourself or someone and the crew necks just kind of crooked and the shirt's sticking out in the back? Like, mm-hmm. I can't handle that. It stresses me out. <laughs> okay. Like, um, I'll be looking in the mirror for, like, ten minutes trying to, like, Get it right. Yeah, get everything lined around. up. Yeah. You're like pulling um, on the back of your shirt. And the, it and yep. The, yep, I've been there. Pain in my ass. Um, and the zip up is having a resurgence right now. That shit is hot. Um, yeah. I like it. Yeah, nah. Like, like I like having movie. like I like wearing button downs open with one thing, mm-hmm. like, and that's the same kit. You can do that with a zip up too. You can tie the strap and just okay. let it flow like Very versatile. You're freaking mm-hmm. Batman, and that like shit a is cape. tight. Yeah, it looks sick. <laughs> I'm into yeah. that. Okay. I think I'm I think I'm pro in pullovers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Been wearing pullovers for a long time, wearing one right now. Pullover hoodies yeah. are a, definitely uh yeah. just like a, a comfort zone for me. Dude, I'm telling you. Yeah. So I'm pullover totally. hoodie. <laughs> yep. And they're like, dude, and like dude, it's so versatile, right like now. Dude, I get in here at like <laughs> seven in the morning and it's cold and I don't want to turn the heat on, so, so I just pull one of these, on. you know, and I'm warm. I'm finishing it like this. No nope. podcast getting finished. So, <laughs> so, I, so I'm pro. Form. <laughs> I'm pro and pullover. I'm gonna am crew neck. I like okay. crew neck. I like a good crew neck. I, I sport a few of them. Do you agree yeah, with yeah. me though that they're like kind but of? But it the is. Most yeah, right you gotta normal. find. You gotta find that comfort zone with the neck piece of yeah. what you're wearing underneath it. But I, I don't feel like I'm searching too hard for yeah. it. So. And then the zip up, you're, uh, I mean, if they're coming back, we'll see. But I'm, I'm I think that shit's them. hot. Yeah, yeah, I'm really. flowing them. Yep. So, but shit, I mean, we're making more apparel, so if I need to make a zip up, I'm I'll telling do you, it. we're, we're, we're going to have to make a zip up. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> um, next, um, Pro Am Flow, truck, oh, SUV, yeah. or van? Um, John Dev, who's your pro? Um, I'm a big fan of a sub. Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of love for a sub. Okay. Um, I own a sub. Sub life. Technically, it's a very small old Subaru sub, but it still yeah. qualifies as a sub. Um, I like a. Do, I also own a van though. Exactly. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. and that thing doubles as a house, kind of. This is a hard one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, sub is getting thinking, man. so. SUV is getting pro spot because For sure. okay. you can do say you have like an SUV with like all wheel drive or four wheel drive that car can that thing can cart around your dumbass family mm-hmm. and it can also go off road <laughs> <laughs> it can also go off road and do cool stuff but it also doesn't guzzle gas like a freaking I'm not gonna say the word I was about to say but um, doesn't guzzle gas crazy um, okay and then the Am spot is going to the truck because I every time I get a new car I end up wanting a truck. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Van's getting the last one strictly because of all the damn Chrysler Town and Countries we have rented on our scooter trips. <laughs> yeah. It's your fault that I feel this way, <laughs> but there is not enough space in a goddamn unless it's a full size van. I'm talking like Ford Transit, Sprinter, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but when I think of Van, I think of a black or a red. Dodge Grand Caravan, <laughs> a Chrysler Town and Country. Yeah. I've lived in both of those with this guy for a very long period of time. And holy <laughs> shit, getting all of our bags in that damn minivan. <laughs> the unpacking and repacking on some of those trips yeah. were pretty funny. You had it dialed. Like, we had it figured out every time, but it's just the concept of, like, if we were an SUV with, like, three less people, you could have just thrown them back there mm-hmm. and everything would have been fine. <laughs> yep. That's yep. so true. Yeah, I, I, no, I don't like Van. Yeah. I, uh, I just bought a new car, and while I was doing my research, I was looking at trucks. I, re- I did want a yeah, truck, but they're fucking expensive, dude. Yeah, yeah, trucks are like, gnarly. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, they're all, even if they have like 200,000 miles, it's still pretty expensive. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so it's Yeah, I don't try to buy a Toyota Tacoma yeah. in California in ever. Yeah, it's insane. It's bad. But, but I do like trucks. I think... Yeah. I think I'm a pro. I'm a pro in my truck. Yeah. Um, am I think at this stage of my life I will it's too say hot in SUV. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my ears are sweating all of a yeah. sudden. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna flow the van. Yeah. 
So, I mean, but at the same time, like, if I could buy us a Springer van, like a Scooter Farm yeah, Springer awesome. van, like, we would have one. Yeah. If I could do yeah. that. Just Springer don't van. buy us a Scooter Farm like freaking town and country. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. No. I would never do that. No. I would never do that. It would be fine for the ride days, but yeah. for <laughs> long periods at Woodward <laughs> going across the country. Yeah. I don't ever want to get into another one of those again. Awesome. <laughs> but okay. if you called me tomorrow, I'd hop right in. Love it. Um, now we're back to the shoe game. Um, Vans, Nikes, or Adidas shoes. Um, do we want to look at this as like what you like to ride in, or just in general, what shoes you like? What do you guys? How do you I would say in it? general. Yeah, in just general. in general. Uh-huh. Okay, sweet. Vincent, Vans, Nike, uh-huh. Adidas, Pro Am Flow. I think I used to be more of a Nike guy, but they were just like haven't been lasting for me lately. And, and I didn't really like Vans before, but now they're lasting for me way more. Like they don't rip as often, and I've been digging like all the new stuff they've been putting out. So I think Vans for me for Pro, probably Nike for Am, and Adidas for Flow. Flow on the Adidas. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I do like Adidas too, but I feel like just durability wise, like they just don't really hold up for me. Yeah. But I do like the look of some of the shoes. Like Boosts are real comfy too. They make good shoes. Overall, I think Every, all these dudes make good yeah. shoes. Yeah. It's hard, but. Um, How about you, John Dev? Pro and flow, Vans, Nikes. Vans get in the pro spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I never thought I'd say it. Yeah. But how we were talking about slip-ons last episode, like I said, the Vans Pro Slip, best comfortable yeah. shoe ever. Yeah. Um, also, like price point-wise is definitely something that you have to factor in yeah. because yeah. shoes now are – Always a hundred dollars. Yeah, mm-hmm. Vans are still like affordable. Yeah, like you could buy a pair of Pros for seventy bucks. Yeah. Um, just and I don't know. I love half cabs. Yeah, dude. it's a freaking good it's shoe. Good. It fits yeah. with every outfit. It fits every Probably like they're comfortable as heck. Um, so they're getting pro spot. Okay. Adidas is getting am spot because as everyone knows, I used to be an Adidas boy. Talking aggressive with the pants the shoes all that shit i could not stop um you've taken place i have Mm -hmm. (laughs) of my adidas fanboy shit but i still love the silhouette i love the three stripes every shoe that they have that is geared towards skateboarding which follows through with scootering and stuff as well is a good looking shoe even when it's over constructed i feel like they do a lot of like out of the box a little more like they kind of pair something up with New Balance, like how they just like they'll put like random patches of stitching in different pockets, and like mm-hmm. the shoes have layers. That shit's dope. Um, and then Nike is a horrible company, so I, <laughs> like like through through and through. So Nike's like, mm, yeah, I don't care. Also, okay. I had a pair of Blazers that I had loved for a really long time. They lasted me like six years. They were great shoes, but like I don't care about Nike or yeah. what they do at all. And I think dunks are played out, so um, all right. that's where I'm at. Dude, I like this one. We I think we've all. I really like shoes, so yeah, if you want to keep well. going, I'll well, like I, I, it's good because we're, we're all gonna pick different answers. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, I know uh, what's on the top yeah. of your list. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. There's yeah. No, there's no doubt. Uh, Adidas is my number one. Uh, wearing them right now. Just bought like seven pairs of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Adidas, I've always liked the way they looked and I like the way they fit. That's the most important thing for me Absolutely. is comfort. Um, they've also got their, they've had their paws in hip hop culture forever and we know you love that. Yeah. So like, yeah, come for on. sure. All the yep. B-boy shit DLT, way back, rock yep. it, dude, oh, cool come J. on. Yep, yeah. you know my 80s, I know so my 80s hard. rap, so. So Adidas is a hard pro for me, like, that makes sense. We'll leave it at that. Um, I'm going to am Vans as well. Um, I've only had like three or four pairs in my life of Vans, um, but I hate Nike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, let's go. But it's, I mean, obviously they're, you know, you know, however those shoes are getting made overseas by whoever's making them is, is a question mark for me. Yeah. Um, but the big thing is, is comfort going back to that. They're just not wide enough for my Fred Flintstone foot. <laughs> <laughs> like my feet are wide, so. Aww. I don't like Nikes, and for me, they've ne- like the ones I've gotten never fit quite right, and they've never really held up for me. So, yeah. but again, I got a big Fred Flintstone foot. That's what yeah. I call them. So, so that's uh, so yeah, that's good. I think we all have a, a different favorite, right? Bonus, so. yeah. bonus topic. New Balance makes the dopest action sports shoes right now. I'll mm-hmm. just say it. 
I think they make the most comfortable shoe. And like, bro, all the nurses way back when I was, you know, in grade school and shit, rocking New Balances, like, what the hell are those? Now I find myself in them all the time. Yeah. I like Makai's a lot, too. Yep. Yep. Yeah, New Balance is a comfortable shoe. And the Converse Fast Break is the best shoe on earth. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Shots Converse is kind of, they're showing yeah, up more and more. Nike on Converse, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Damn, okay. Uh, <laughs> nice, good one. Uh, I really like Bobby DeKaiser. He's a great skateboarder and he rides for cons. So I'll, yeah. give, him, I'll uh, give him the pass, but yeah. they do own Converse. I mean, at the end of the day, company. yeah. 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 Con is coming at you. We can't feel bad about everything. Yeah. 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 Um, Next one here. So this one's pretty random. Um, <laughs> total what if situation. What if uh, if you had to do battle with one animal? Pro am flow, tiger, bear, gorilla. Strictly based on how you would fare if you thought you could like fight it and survive. <laughs> okay. Can you like come at this with some strategy? Yeah. That way till the bears hibernate. <laughs> yeah, you might yeah. have to. That's what I was thinking. If I had to. Yeah. Bears can't climb trees, right? Not that they sleep yeah. in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent's right. Dude, we gotta go see Cocaine Bear. Uh, have you seen the previews for that movie? I have seen it. I just, I know it's like, the only reason I want to see it is because it's a true story. Mm -hmm. I can't deal with like Ice Cube's son's face. I can't deal with Ice Cube's <laughs> face. I just, I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. There's something about it. I, I don't know. O'Shea Jackson? Not a fan? Looks like a goofy all the time. I don't. Really, I yeah. can't take him seriously. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, I don't know how serious you would have to take him in Cocaine Bear. <laughs> well, that's the I, thing. I'm also not a comedy guy, so I gotta really like. Yeah. But I'll go watch it with you yeah. in the middle Let's of the damn it. day, yeah, and yeah, then I'm walk out of the it. fucking movie theater. Dude, brain's like, working tomorrow. See. Let's go watch it, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's an idea. <laughs> I'm supposed to hang out with Steph. I'm yeah. sorry. I gotta break it Friday though. What's up? Steph, <laughs> come. That's true. Um. If it wasn't sleeping. But yeah. So if you're doing battle. Your pro would be the one you would want to do battle with. You think you could win. So who's your pro? John Depp. Fuck. <laughs> Good luck. Um, I think tiger, bear, gorilla. Gorillas are like the closest to us, right? Oh, as man. like as like yeah. genetically made up, right? So you couldn't outsmart a gorilla, ideally. That's yeah. I mean, like you couldn't really figure him out. Like he's gonna figure you out. He figure you out probably. Like a gorilla will t like. Like rip my damn arms. They'll off. rip your arms off. Yeah, okay. Gnarly. Yeah. Like there's a story of a lady. I'm a looking at it like how I want to die. Yeah. I'm looking at like cross paths. Yeah. Like, cross. yeah. I think I'm gonna go pro bear because for some odd reason I feel like maybe in a really 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 insane situation I could maybe figure out how to get away from a bear. Yeah. It's not necessarily bad. fight it to the death like you want me to. I'm not a fighter. Yeah. I've never been. Try yeah. be I'm gonna try and like get out of there. Um, like, have you seen The Revenant? No. The where Leonardo DiCaprio gets just destroyed by a bear. <laughs> no. You ever, oh, dude, you guys gotta see oh, that. Movie. But like, I've seen yeah. a few bears in the wild, and yeah. nine times out of ten, I'm not absolutely freaking horrified. I'm like, holy shit, that's a fucking bear. Yeah, and I'm like, that. if I just like kind of stay cool, it'll probably be fine. I'm never that close to him, but I've seen him in the wild. I ain't never seen a tiger in the <laughs> wild, okay? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, that's probably bad. The, uh, tiger's yeah. getting the pro spot because I'm going to die viciously, and it's going to be sick. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, um, so tiger's your pro. I'm going to um, give the am? gorilla the am because getting my arms off ripped off sounds crazy, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, just breaking it off, how bad they yeah, do. like how insane. Dude, there was literally yeah. like an it's orangutan. Yeah. There was an orangutan, I think in Connecticut, um, that some lady. What was an orangutan had, doing in Connecticut? Had it, had it her house, yeah. trying to keep it like a pet. And yeah. something happened, like she had a friend yeah. over, and that thing ripped a lady's <laughs> face off. Yeah, good. see, that's okay. Rip then, the face off. Okay, then oh. Gorilla's getting pro spot then if okay. the face got ripped off. Yeah. Um, and then Tiger's getting am and Bear's getting flow. Because a bear's just going to, like, scratch me up and eat pizzas. Take a bite out you. Yeah, and, like, that's kind of like, like I would rather get my face ripped off if I'm going <laughs> to die. Because I can't fight yeah, any of them to the death. Yeah, they're all good. That's my spot. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Vincent, pro, am, flow. Tiger bear. I'm gorilla. curious what kind of route he's gonna go. Yeah. Well, I was if I had to actually fight it, I would go for the bear for pro and try to fight it when it's hibernating. Okay. Or I try to become friends with the bear and give it some honey <laughs> and maybe like double cross it for a sec. 
Like, I, I like it. Yeah, so I think I'd have the best chance against the bear. But then maybe the tiger, if you come in, I don't know. Like, that would probably be my am spot. I just think I'd have no chance against the gorilla. Yeah. I mean, probably no chance against the tiger either, but I don't know. The gorilla seems more intense. So, yeah. Based off, like, what I could win against, I think bear, tiger, and gorilla. But we okay. can do either way, so. I like it. See... I'm an idiot. Like I, th- I think I can take these animals. Yeah. <laughs> so. so um, All right. Okay. So, bro. so I'm. So. All righty then. Um, I think the hardest one to fight uh, would be the tiger. Yeah, fast. Yeah, it's the fastest, yeah. and it's gonna so go for your throat. I like that you look at it like that. Like the, the tiger, fast. the tiger is gonna go to kill you quickest. Yeah. I mean, Whereas I think a bear or a gorilla is gonna fuck with you. Is it gonna like Don't like? Cats like playing with your shit though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, dude, when they're hunting though, that's true. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna go for your neck. Yeah. yeah. So I'm starting a tiger. Um, I'm gonna am a gorilla. I just they're so strong, yeah. and they can rip body parts off. Yeah. Um, and Get then you I'm mad enough, you might rip somebody's body parts off. Soon. Dude, I and for a bear, I'm flowing a bear because I'll fuck a bear up, bro. I'm not even. Li- I'm not even. Li- <laughs> <laughs> I will take a bear. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's crazy about bears is like there's different kinds. Like they say, like certain bears you should play dead, certain bears you should run. But that's that's pretty. Well, yeah, I thought you were fighting it though. I didn't think. You but were I know. I'm just dead. saying. There's different ways to defend against a bear. Mm, uh, well, they say. Mm, yeah. Do you play like dead? That sounds bitch to, to me. Too. I don't know. Get a bear. Like, Give me a, get a bear. Yeah, you could maybe fight a baby bear like two months old. <laughs> Even no that. problem. Yeah, you can do yeah okay. There's a no baby problem. bear. No problem. All right, take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're gonna if you're gonna play dead, that's bitch. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if I survive, is it? Bears all sniffing. I don't know. You, what are you gonna play dead and do after? Listen. That? You have to take out. Watch the Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio and, and tell me. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll right. come back to this. We'll circle back. Right, when I see you Friday, bro, I better hear no, how this like, freaking rant. bear fight yeah. goes down. It's like one of those like, you know, 1600 movies when people are out trapping like. Bear pelts and stuff. Yeah. It's a great. I movie. like stuff like that. Yeah. I also like Leo. He's yeah, good. yeah good. you'll you'll like it. It's a great movie. Um, yeah. All right, that was a good program flow. Um, let's do one more, and then we'll call it a day. All right. Um, so the last one we're gonna land on here is. Let's do going. the. Which one do you guys want to do? I should pick a good one. Okay. I don't want to pick one. Um, beach, lake, river. Mm. So this is basically just like. Where do you want to hang out? Like, yeah. I, we live in San Diego. We've gone to the beach and had a good time. Yeah. I grew up in Ohio. I've gone out on my friend's boat on the lake. Awesome time. Love that. I lived in Colorado, and there's the Yampa River there, and we were just getting tubes. You know, I get, a, get, get a couple oh, beverages, yeah, yeah. just float yeah, down the river. Best, yeah. um, super chill. So, with that that's said, the Woodward East River, bro. <laughs> it's oh, a yeah. Time. yeah. Nice. You can float it and do the same thing. And then, really? Yeah. yeah. So pro am flow, beach, lake, river, Vincent. I think I'll have to pro beach just because I've grown up here. I think San I Diego like, boy, yeah, huh? The most fun yep. at the beach. Like, that makes that's sense. Just, that's just my home. Like I love the beach, so that's definitely number one for me. Okay. Number two, I think rivers. Like I've done a lot of road trips and traveling and just like camping next to a river that's like flowing. Like you know, oh, yeah. water's Best a bit noise and, like, ever. Yeah, it's just such a relaxing ah. noise. Like I don't know, just yeah, super peaceful and. You can float down them and super chill and no. find good cliff jumping spots and all that. I just think river is just some more possibilities than a lake, I guess. Okay, I like True. it. But they're all super fun, so yeah, I guess I'd flow the lake. I like it. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Flow the lake, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Actually, Dad. a river flows, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pro and flow, John Dev. Uh, <laughs> um, beach, lake, river. I you grew at? up tubing, tubing like the Delaware River constantly. Yeah. Um, as we got older, it got more fun. Like you said, grab yeah. a couple beverages. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I've also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pro lake. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Cause like, I don't know. I've spent a lot of time fishing in a lake. I've spent a lot of time hanging out in a pontoon boat at Badger's house. Yep. Mm-hmm. On literally, his house is like on a lake. Um, some of my best memories of my entire life have been on that freaking lake. And if I were to go find another lake and have friends, I'd probably have just as good of a time. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to pro lake because that is just like the still, like 
Dude, they're kind of gross, but it doesn't matter. It's like that still. Mm. You walk out there in the morning, bro, and it's quiet, and the water just kind of like moving with the wind. And you're just like sitting on the dot, like, damn. I'm an old head. I'm like, my brain is like 65 years old. So I want to like Tired. go sit by myself, have a cup of coffee yep. by a lake. I don't want to hear yeah. shit, right? Like, I just, just nothing. Serene. Um, yeah. I'm going to give. So who's your am? I'm going to give the beach the am spot because I've never been this close to one and I've been here for seven years and it's been freaking sick. If you don't know what to do, you just go to the damn beach. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's like. There's a lot of stuff going on. You got farmers markets usually that are hanging out by beaches. Yeah. Okay. There's like mad restaurants by beaches. There's no restaurants by a damn lake. Like you better be okay with being <laughs> by yourself, which yeah. I am. Yep. Um, and then flow spot. Believe it or not. Cause yeah, because a river fucking will flow. flow. <laughs> Low hanging fruit. My bad. <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> but no, I like rivers, but it's just I yeah. grew up around yeah. them all the time. And like. Honestly, sometimes when you're all attached to each other with the tube and the 30 rack, like by the end of the time it's done, you're like, God, get me out of here. Yeah. Then you have to like hike back. Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes you chip your freaking ankle on a rock. Like, I don't know. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I think, I think I'm going to co sign that one, John Dev. I'm, I'm starting lakes. Or, I mean, I'm not starting. I'm pro, proing lakes. <laughs> um, lakes are, I just, I grew up kind of hanging out on my friend's lake, going out on his pontoon boat fishing, just hanging around. Like when we were in high school, if there was nowhere for us to kind of hang out and have a good time, yeah. we just like, just go on the boat, go in the middle of the lake. Yep. No one's going to bother us. Yep. So I, that's what I grew up with. That's what I love. I've been in San Diego for almost 20 years now. Um, the beach is, hanging, going to the beach with friends is amazing as well. Yeah. So that's my am. Um, dude, I'm old enough to, and I, when I first moved here, you could like party and drink on the beach here in PB, Dang. in Pacific Beach. Yeah. Now you're not even allowed to have fires. No, you can't do anything now. Yeah. But I remember it was. Uh, <laughs> they still got fire pits, but we can't have fire. Yeah. There was a, like my first July 4th in San Diego, we went to the beach and. That's Literally a bummer. Yeah, I got to park on the outside of the fucking Sea World. Bonfires, everything. And yep. Stay overnight there. Now they're pretty hard on Now the they're not even stuff. letting you do fires. It's, it's, yeah. So. And then, yeah, I'm going to rivers flow, right? So yep. rivers my flow. Yep. Um, but, yeah, base, my, I'm just basing mine off experience, I guess. Yeah. I've had a lot of fun at um, lakes and beaches than I have in rivers. Mm -hmm. So I've got a final bonus question for the viewers and you guys. Thank All you. Right. Um, favorite piece of scooter memorabilia? Go. You got 10 seconds. Yeah. Vincent. I it could be of yours. It could be of somebody else's. It could be anything. You want me to go? I got one. Okay. Scooter Farm Digger Bars. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. got a lot to do with Vincent. Yep. Um, Vincent designed those bars for the Scooter Farm. Yeah. Actually drew them out. Mm -hmm. Our good buddy Jelly did the little cross yeah, shovel, little shovel yeah. logo. logo. That yeah. was created by Justin Cordova. Nobody at Youth Gone Wild. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yep. then our my I former bet. business partner, Nick Steiner, called, he came up with the name, the Digger Bars. Yeah. So oh, the design... The logo and the name, all here at made by the scooter farm. So it's your, it's your proudest piece, right? Yeah. Okay. That's so we funny. created that. Yeah. And I love that shit. That's sick. Mm -hmm. I think Youth Gone Wild are a bunch of scumbags. Yeah. Um, That's okay. I mean, basically said, you know. Taking that. That's yeah. Like, so I if you buy a Youth Gone Wild <laughs> bar, it's just you're giving money to a scumbag. Um, so that's that's my is, thought. Yeah, no, I, that's your proudest. That's moment. where I'm coming. That's from. your proudest moment, and it got taken away from you. Yeah, you got ended with a bang. That was a bang. Yep. That was good. So, but it also was like now I got a coward that will never show his face in front of me again. So you, it's a, you know, I won that way. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, I think for me, I have this uh, Mag Gear SoCal tour shirt from like their first trip. To San Diego. It's like their first big overseas trip, and it's kind of like the first big overseas trip for like any scooter team, really. And I just remember being so excited to go to the SD contest, and I ended up winning Beginner. It was the first contest I'd ever entered. Sick. Yeah. And I ended up winning the shirt and the prize purse, and like that was just like who really inspired me, the Magnet team, like seeing R. Willie and stuff in person, and like Adam Sick. Bolton and Julie Rainbow and all that Damn, was just like man. such a big trip to me. What year so was that? Like, How long ago was that? Oh, I think it was 2010 or nine. Yeah. Know. Like so. Yeah, that's SD4. like 
Oh wow. Okay. So that's cool. okay. Yeah. yeah, that was like I think 2008. That predates the scooter form. That's yeah, crazy. It was, yeah. like, it was the first scooter contest I had entered. So oh yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It was like I'd probably been riding for a year or two at the time, like seriously. So, but oh, yeah, yeah. So I ended up winning that shirt, and I just they were like who I really wanted to meet and see. So like the fact I won the shirt, I just was like super hyped because you couldn't actually go buy the shirt or anything. Yeah, that's so yeah. I had all them signs and cool. stuff, and like dude, I still show everyone that shirt if they come over to my house and like. Yeah, You're like, yo, look at this. Check this out. Yeah. That's dope. Like, I'm just hyped on having that. It's a crazy uh, memory, so. Hell yeah. yeah. Damn straight. Mine isn't that as as true and special to, because I don't even have it in my hands. But my favorite piece of scooter memorabilia is Parrish's Time's Up Gripper. The white with the mint green. Mm-hmm. I remember those. The graphic was cool. Parrish is a great guy. It's a yeah. freaking cool wheel. And it didn't last long. If anybody has a pair of those, I will buy them from you. Um, Boom. Yeah. And then another one that actually you showed up in the other day that <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. Like, this <laughs> blew my mind. He shows up in a red Scoot Co. t-shirt. Like, the first, like, the OG green logo <laughs> one. Yep. Yeah. And I never had any idea that it went that hard. <laughs> I saw it ten, year, 10 years later, and I'm like, Holy shit, that's a sick shirt. <laughs> and that's like the and like Tyler Bonner. I actually yeah, got it from he, Tyler Bonner. He left it at Ryan Upchurch's house on a trip, and I took it. It was, <laughs> was like, it was ten minutes shirt. down the road from my house, and I didn't get yeah. it. Oh, I got he got it and took it back to I California. Was so hyped, dude. I got in trouble for him. We had a shop visit like the next day. It was like an envy tour, and I wore the shirt at a shop yeah. visit. That's know, the true years. rad way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm really into t-shirts, so that one freaking rips. <laughs> that's sick. That one rips. There's probably more than that, but we'll leave it at that. What's uh, your favorite piece of You got something, Brady? Yeah. I was asking the camera, but I'll ask you too. Um, either the grenade clamp. Uh, yeah. Phoenix right. grenade oh, clamp. Awesome. Yeah, the grenade really clamp's good. Awesome, dude. My five-star clamp collection. So you got the five-bolt? The four-bolt. Oh, God. That was a horrible piece of machinery. Yeah. <laughs> That's your favorite? Dude, the four bolt five star clamp? You gotta have something better than that. I mean, I have an original pair of jack wheels. Okay, that's dope. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Five star was sick, though. Yeah. My SK12 good pick. That was the first, like, big competition I was in. Dead stock? Why is it back there, bro? Take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Yo, actually, side note, we're going to end it after this. We're not going to keep you guys any <laughs> Elliot's freaking on, AO yeah, Pro deck <laughs> with the free, yo, that, with the blood and the little oh, Satan. And the, Satan yeah. Yeah. Little oh, pentacle or whatever dude, it's called. Damn it. That dude, thing is the, so. The video, the, ent- the intro. Yo, I lived dude, in that house. In the, in the bathtub. Bath, 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 yeah. At the Hag house. I lived there. Didn't it stain the bathtub? It did. It was <laughs> still, yeah. I wonder if it's still red, dude. It wasn't that red when me yeah, and Jake exactly. moved in. But uh, that was the most controversial, dopest yeah, freaking thing awesome, ever. Man. I wish I still like, had one of those. The yeah. amount of, like, F you going on mm. was just so tight. So and s- on, shops yeah. were like, they didn't want to stock it. And yeah. It turned in, like, no, I, re- I remember. Yeah. yeah. They, remember. like, turned into a <laughs> yeah. whole problem, which, like, me as, <laughs> I was, like, still coming up at that oh, point. What? Like, within, like everything i didn't even it was like right when i moved here so i was a baby and like didn't really know it was hip yet at all for the most part and like that was just the coolest yeah, thing I mean, to me the fact the shops were like no we can't yeah. we can't like <laughs> such a <laughs> controversial <laughs> scooter intro, dude, that was tight all right so if anybody has parish yeah. times up wheels or an elliot deck i want both of those and i'll pay yeah. taxed amounts put a grenade clamp on there with some bigger bars yeah, it's like our perfect. Aww. It's like our build. It's our build. I don't know if the wheels are gonna match the deck. We should, we should build a throwback scooter. I would love to. Mm-hmm. I would love to. I would love to. Oh. That's gonna do it for Dude. this week. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Vincent. Oh. Uh, yeah, of course. You're the man. Thank you guys for Thanks, brother. Yeah, this is another uh, another fun episode of the of uh, Barnyard BS with John, Dev, and Doug. This was episode yeah. three. Um, leave mm-hmm. us leave us some thoughts. Let us know what you think of these podcasts. Mm-hmm. Um, 
because we're going to need uh, some constructive criticism and feedback. I'm getting more comfortable. Yeah. yeah I'm feeling um, good behind this little but, camera now. But, yeah, but tell us tell us what you like. Tell us what you want to see more of. Tell us some of your I – mean, if you got a good idea for sponsor or kick or Pro-Am Flow, put them in the comments. Maybe leave a great comment, and if we like it, we'll send you something cool. Yeah, we got but, a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, but, uh, but, yeah, your feedback is invaluable. So – this was episode three, Barnyard BS with John, Devin, Doug, featuring Vincent. Much love. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Sweet. Yeah. Woo. That was a long one, dude. That was great. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. He, he sucks. <laughs>